a new platform to play Halo Infinite on, as well as some leaks about Forge which are pretty interesting, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational kind of video. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. With the recent announcement of the Steam Deck, it opens up a lot of opportunities for gaming just in general. A lot of people look at the Steam Deck as a direct competitor to the Switch, but it's much more than just like a console. It's more actually just like a small PC. And you can modify this any way you'd like. IGN journalist Ryan McCaffrey pointed this out on Twitter. It's worth pointing out that the Steam Deck can run other things besides SteamOS. Valve hammered home the point to us that it's a PC, not a closed Steam ecosystem. Steam OS runs Proton, which is Linux based. So in theory, this thing could be a handheld Xbox. Now that Xbox is all in on PC. Continuing on, he said, at the absolute worst, it will run every Xbox game that's on Steam. So yes, that means the day this ships in December, you can play Halo Infinite on it. Now I'm sure some people are watching this video going like, oh my gosh, it's another platform 343 has to code for and take into consideration. Not so much because this is Steam. It's their product to run on its own. 343 already has their hands full trying to do the Xbox One, Xbox One X, the Xbox One S. Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S as well as PC. Dropping the Xbox One development has been a hot topic within the community but I do believe that 343 is making the right move by making this game available on the Xbox One family of consoles. Because even almost six months after the release of the Series X and S consoles, they're still really hard to come by. The head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, mentioned that the chip shortage really is actually kind of the biggest issue that's going on with the new Xbox consoles. It's not actually the content that you can play on them, it's more just getting them into people's hands is the most difficult part right now. And yes, Halo Infinite will be on Steam, so going about the roundabout way that Ryan McCaffrey's talking about might be a little bit extreme, but if you want to play all your Xbox games on this device, well, you probably could find a way to do that. Though for Halo Infinite's point, I mean, we do have xCloud as well, so I'm assuming Halo Infinite will be running on that rather well. Which makes it so you can turn any of your personal devices that can stream videos and things like that well you can do it on uh, you can play halo infinite on your phone if you want to now let's talk about the leaked information about forge in halo infinite and it does sound rather interesting what they're looking to accomplish with this because to improve on forge from halo 5 it's actually a really big accomplishment to try to do because Halo 5's Forge has been widely held as the best Forge that's ever been made in a Halo game. But it sounds like Forge is going to have a lot more community features and a possible dedicated flight for it. On Reset Era, a user posted this who is the same user who actually leaked out the Avery Johnson multiplayer map, which we know now is the map Live Fire. When asked the question if they had information on Halo Infinite's Forge, this is what they replied with. I can't share much about the way Forge will work. But if you're familiar with Git or GitHub, you'll find a familiar way to work together on maps, Git commit, and way to have branches for multiple people to work on the same map, with change history being in sync or async environments on Xbox and PC. This will change quite a bit the way forgers will can collaborate with user generated content. Now, they already have something similar to this with like the file share system and things like that, but I think what they're talking about is having something a little bit more public facing, where you can just kind of grab anybody's map that you would like and also start working on it if they want to have that ability for people to do that. This also could be something we see integrated in with Halo Waypoint, much like how we could do in Halo 5, where you could download maps and modes straight from the website onto your console. We can see something similar like this happening with the website where you can actually collaborate with other forgers and people can collaborate and build things together Together, rather than have it be strictly on just like a person's game session. Oh, but he continues on saying, regarding the editor slash tool that Forge has become, you'll hear more about it very soon. If I recall correctly, there might be a flight dedicated to it, but I'll tell you that it's been months now those informations were shared with me by a friend of mine able to look at Halo Infinite's API. Plans might have changed from earlier this year. Now, could we see a dedicated flight strictly just for Forge? 
possibly i don't really plan on it if it was going to be i think it'd just be thrown in with the game itself they keep referring to these flights as technical previews right which to me has much more of a functionality behind the whole thing rather than just getting a chance to play the game it sounds like it's more kind of like stress testing systems to make sure things are working properly and nothing is absolutely broken when the game releases though a dedicated flight for forge would be pretty dang awesome though i would feel that it would be a bit a little bit of a niche kind of thing for it to ha have its own dedicated flight unless it has like a separate multiplayer thing going along with it on the side or something like that but again these are leaks so you have to take them at face value guys this guy was able to leak the previous avery johnson live fire map as well so so some credibility this guy has some form of information about forge but to have a github like experience when it comes to the forging community would just help just build bonds even more and also help create some more awesome content but let me know what you think in the comments below so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it check out the videos on the screen if you missed any content for me recently i have playlists right here for all my halo information and news videos thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace out